Alrighty. Check out this corporate rant. I'm taking advice from uh, my viewers and their comments. Get the dielectric uh, stuff. So I looked up, well I tried to look up, dielectric spray and all that shit for the fuse box. And I also, in my own mind, I want to get waterproofing material, waterproofing silicone. So I can do that ignition switch completely waterproof. So I go to Advanced Auto Parts website and I type in, you know, keywords waterproof silicone shit like that. nothing comes up. We can't find that. So then I try dielectric. No, we can't find anything about that. Really? Fucking really? So then all of a sudden the chat window comes up. Would you like to chat with a representative from uh, Advance Auto Parts? And of course I'm like, oh yeah. So Courtney comes up to answer my chat. guess what she can't find anything about that either so I'm like okay so you don't have an oil sealant Felpro that is waterproof let me check oh my god at the same time I'm talking to uh, talking to one of my buddies on uh, Skype he's like you're fucking kidding me and I'm like no I don't have any reason to bullshit anybody and actually what I'm doing is I wanted to ride by the porn house you know, the Romantics porn house. Dante Fox is who was, who is, who I was talking to. He's like me, he's fucking tripping. Really? Really? You don't have waterproof silicone, but yeah, you have oilproof silicone, antifreeze silicone, transmission fluid silicone, but you don't have a listing for waterproof silicone. 
So I guess that means that if you buy oil oil proof silicone then you're screwed, right? That means your engine can allow water into it and your transmission can allow water into it. Boy, am I gonna rag on these fuckers? Not really. Because, as you have heard from me before, this is my favorite store. This is the only place I buy auto parts. think I'm cute. Let's try this. You got a minute? Yeah. I need some waterproof uh, silicone. Since I've already been on your website and chatted up your uh, website people, and they say you don't have it. What do you think is waterproof? You think this ultra copper would be waterproof or would that let water through my valve cover? I'm not really sure about that. I know we normally have a Well, I mean, if this is going to stop oil, right, then it should stop water. Wouldn't you think? But then again, water is slightly thinner. I know this stuff here works really good for stopping water. I use that on like every thermostat housing and stuff I do. Really? And it works so that's well. so that's like an antifreeze. So I don't know, if you wanted a waterproof electrical connectors, what would you use? Would you use the ultra black, ultra gray, blue RTV, the ultra copper, and all you're trying to do is stop rain, what would you use? You say electrical connectors? Well yeah, th that's uh, another subject, oh, okay. because I want to get the dielectric stuff too. But I need to seal it where it goes together. So, which one of these fantastic products would you use? I would probably use the that one just because I know, like I've used it before, and I know for a fact it works. Um, going on plastic and aluminum. Now this one, general purpose adhesive for interior or exterior use, seals and insulates and is weather resistant. So it'll hold up to cold. Proof. Up, yeah. Water. 
waterproof, not weather resistant. Okay. Waterproof. So you're telling me that Permatex Ultra Copper is not waterproof? I, I'm not sure. I've never used it before. Okay. Go to the auto parts store and stump the workers. There's the dielectric grease. There's the dielectric grease in the spray can that they said they don't have on the internet because I'm going to take y'all's advice and I'm going to spray all this shit into my fuse box which I forgot to show you I will later that it's uh, it's got a waterproof seal on it Trust me, dude, I, I know exactly the products here. But when I went on your website, they said nothing's waterproof. That's why I'm saying, really? So this is going to let water into my valve cover? Well, it probably. And then they kicked me to, well, you need to go up to your store because you're an expert, right? For the most part. Okay, so what's waterproof here? Well, these ones are designed for use on parts with water. This is designed for dryer parts, like dry parts, stuff that gets high heat. And so what should I buy? Probably the blue gas. The blue? Yeah. All right, I'm good. All right. You're all right. NT8 in a garage with the rocket scientist. Uh, you know, that guy. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I think so. It went off. Sometimes it stays up and sometimes it comes down. But most of the time it's all the way up. So you're ready for this shit. This is amazing. I've got uh, electrical issues in my uh, in my ignition switch, possibly my fuse box. So I get online and I go to Advanced Auto Parts and I'm searching dielectric spray. Yeah. For the fuse box and for the switch which we know the electronics are down below that yeah. and suddenly the chat box pops up so I'm like okay well I found the dielectric shit well actually they didn't even show it so then I said I'm looking for waterproof silicone. Permatex. Do you think? Well, I, I'm here to ask you. Yeah. 
is Permatex waterproof? You know, you know, um, like the orange shit for valve covers. Yeah. You think that's waterproof? Uh, only if you don't get stuck in a flood. Um, I don't need it. I I bought it. I know, but um. So I said. So I got the kid in the store. I said, which one of these is waterproof? They got blue, black, orange, yeah. gray. Yeah. And a kid says, well, I think I would go with this, the blue, because it's uh, antifreeze proof. Which I asked online in the chat box. No, oh, well, I can't find that. So I'm like, okay. So I keep pestering this kid, and I got it on video. He says, well, let me go ask my boss. So he goes and asks his boss. And he says, well, I think you'll be fine with the blue, because water is lighter than oil. Did I say water is lighter uh, than oil? I wanted to see it. Anybody remember Exxon Valdez where the oil rise to the top? I wanted uh, to see that. The, the, the Gulf oil spill, hey, the oil came to the top. When I dump oil in the piss bucket, it flows to the top to keep the odor down. It don't... It don't... Uh, how many geniuses can I run into in one day that have this shit all figured out? Water's lighter than oil. What kind of oil are they talking about? Straight, heavy weight, downright lead. I even said oil. fucking rainwater. Oh, well, water's lighter than oil. Yeah, okay, cool. Good thing they work at the auto parts store, not the oil refineries. But I just thought I'd share this with you after after my trip to the auto parts store. You take a little shot glass and fill it about half full, three quarters oil. Just a shot glass. So it was water, and then take and put a drop of oil on top. It goes bloop right back up the top. Now come on, it don't take no damn rocket science to figure that out. Have you ever had oil and red wine vinegar dressing on your salad? Uh, yeah. Do you have to shake the bottle up before you use it? No, I shake the salad up. <laughs> That's what it is. I have to shake the bike up. <laughs> you can't shake it up, dude. Fucking BMW, what the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> right, dude. You gotta, if the oil's on the bottom, turn the bike over. It'll come up. Exactly why I'm saying, dude, only you and I could discuss this in a comedic, <laughs> com comedian style fucking attack on advanced auto parts. Oh uh, man, I hate this. I gotta shake the bike up again and turn it over because the oil's on the bottom. Man, you got one. Uh, uh. Hey, uh, old Fuck's Indian sake, man. dude, could you help me turn it over and shake it? Yeah, but wouldn't it be easy if we put the oil in first, or, and then the, or the water in first, and the oil be on top? So I even asked him, oh, so you're telling me if I use this orange shit on my valve cover, it's still going to let water in, but no oil. Out. And the black shit. Silicone is waterproof to a certain degree, and then it's like using Elmer's paper glue on wood. It don't work. All right, I'm NT8. I'm consulting the expert. <laughs> Just wanted to verify my uh, my theory on 
Just take, silicone. Just take a look. Okay, what? Silicone will hold water out for a while, but very little while. It, oh, did I tell you that Joe is also known as Paco the Pool Guy? So I figured he would know how to fix a water leak. Yeah. I'd not do that. Take the pool down. Fuck you and get it where he's about to leak. <laughs> All right, from the garage. MT8 and Paco the pool guy. We be out of here. The easiest way to fix that is get somebody else to take care of the problem. Seriously. Now. Yeah. Talk to you later. Bye bye. We outie. Bye bye.